It's another Wednesday here with your favorite Nissan parts guys. That's right. Russell and Tom. We're here today to talk about D41 accessories and D41 accessories only. Yes. Almost all of them. Pretty much all the ones that are in your must-have list. The wish list. The wish list. The ultimate wish list. Um, have you seen these, Tom? I have seen them. Um, I'm going to ad admit to you right now that they don't do much for me. No? No. I know they do a lot, but uh, for me personally, it's just not, to me, it's not an exciting part. It's not exciting, but if you are installing electronics on your Nissan, on these, they have these for just about all the current model Nissans. So if you're installing something like a wireless charging pad, under your kick panel on the passenger side, there's a wadded up bit of wiring under there with a plug that this plugs into. Mm -hmm. And then this plugs into your accessory, whatever accessory you're installing, you, and you tap it in here. Um, and you can tap multiple accessories into one of these, and then you, you don't have to cut up your factory harness. Right. And a few of the accessories listed that that thing works for, drive recorder. Yep. Frameless rear view mirror. Security impact sensor, virtual key, and wireless charger, and many more. Yeah, it's a really nice uh, accessory while it's you know not very exciting. Um, I know our techs have used these for non-Nissan accessories too, like uh, GPS devices, oh, okay. vehicle trackers. <laughs> um, Great. So one of the things that I don't think we've ever had one of these bed assist no, and I'm actually surprised at the um, how well made that thing is. In the picture, it looks kind of spindly, like it's maybe like the size of your fist. But no, that thing is um, quite robust. Yeah, this thing is super nice. Um, I got some video. I installed it on one of our new trucks and got some video how to use it and things like that. And the, the handle, I was really impressed by this. Yeah, it's all cast aluminum, and you're not going to lose grip on that. Yeah. So it, it, me and Tom... We're getting in and out of the bed of a Frontier yesterday, and, and he was talking about, you know, what a pain it was to get up on the tailgate of that truck. And that's a stock height truck. Imagine right. if you lifted it any, yeah, an inch. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, and, and, and you guys can come on here and be like, you, 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 no, baby. no, yeah, it's it's hard. And this is uh, will only work with the Utilitrack system. Correct. Correct. Okay. Correct. And it'll install on the driver's side. Um, and it's the way that this thing, this thing locks in um, into the track. So uh -huh. it's not going to move or anything. Gotcha. And then you just tighten it up with the, this uh, yep. thing right there. One and done. It's got a lock washer on it, so you won't have to worry about it loosening itself up. Okay. Cool. Um, bed extenders. Now, I didn't put one of these together. Um, and if, if you've been around trucks long enough, you know what a bed extender is. Um, if you have a utility track, I think the bed extender is a necessity. Yeah. Because you can slide it. Uh -huh. You can you can slide it all the way up to the cab, and if you have things in there you want to secure, like a couple buckets of paint, mm -hmm. rocks, mm -hmm. whatever. <laughs> Maybe you got a deer back there you need to shove up against the cab. <laughs> yeah, you don't want that flying out going down the freeway. Um, but, yeah, they're really nice, and, and, and the good thing about it, you can flip it the other way and mm -hmm. put the tailgate up. Right. That way you don't have to take it in and out. And, and um, on the Utilitrack, it's kind of a, it's not a permanent install, but it kind of is. And it's nice, too, because if you have the Frontier with the five-foot-long yes. bed, you know, you're going to drop that tailgate to get an extra foot and a half. Yeah. But then you have to worry about stuff slipping out. That's right. And then that um, bed extender, you know, you have to worry about that. So while we're on the bed, mm -hmm. um Tom wanted to put a tent in the Frontier, so we got one in, and we drove it out into a parking lot <laughs> and set it up. Um, I would say well, on a level of 1 to 10, easy being 1, 10 to being hard, where would you rate it? I would say between a 3 and a 4. You know, and that was the for, first time. The first time doing it, it was a 3 and a 4. Yeah. Second time, taking it down, putting it back up. It's cake. It's a one and a half. Yeah. I mean, once you know where everything goes. <laughs> yeah. Um, super cool. But we got a little video here. We're going to splice it into this and run you through some of the features. You can see the install and all that good stuff. And yeah, enjoy. So today, 
we're going to show you the in-bed tent for the Nissan Frontier. Five-foot bed. Yes. They have one for the long bed, too. So make sure you get the right one if you want to get one of these. Here, you do the honors. Okay, let's check it out. We haven't seen one of these yet. This is our first one. We decided we we're going to come down here in the parking lot and pretend like we're camping. What do you guys think about this blue truck? I like this color a lot. It's kind of like an electric blue. Yeah, it's got a ton of metallic in it. <clears throat> okay. And I'll hold this. Good. There's the contents there. Tent bag, tie straps, pull bag, tent, stake bag, rain fly, tent poles, awning poles, gear loft, guy lines, stakes, awning poles. Okay. Oh, this is a door right here. Is it? Yeah, it's open. It says, locate the tent side straps, three per side and loosely attach each to the truck's body. Well, it shows it up top. Is that right? So it goes no. in the back. It's gotta go down to the bottom. Right? Yeah, look at that, that's perfect. Right here, dude. Like it. So you plug that one okay, in there. There we go. Okay. And you give it a little <laughs> cinch. I think there's going to be some good fish in that stream over there, Russell. Yeah. You got? Did you get your uh, fishing license taken care of? No, nah, they never come up here. Oh, okay. All right, let me see here how far I'm gonna have to put this thing. No! You okay? <laughs> you pushed me off. To ensure tailgate pole is set up on, uh, ensure tailgate pole is set up on the outside of tailgate wires. Okay. Okay. I put the long one in there. I just picked it up and I'm gonna do the short one. Fine by me. I think it's the short one. That way this clamp goes down the way. Alright. Tom says short is the way. Nope. Nissan Parts Cribs. <laughs> Me and Tom show you around. What? Right. Pull that up. This is clean. Okay. I... Thing's pretty cool. Yeah. And the nice thing about this tent is, you know, the five foot bed mm -hmm. with the tent on here and the tailgate down. Yeah. You've got uh, enough room to sleep in here now. Well, let me get over. Yeah. Let's be realistic. Um, yeah. There's yeah. Plenty of room for two people. All your gear is going to go inside the truck. And we got vents up here. So, depending on how much airflow you need, because even when it's cold out, it kind of sucks to have the thing sealed up tight. Got a vent there, vent there. And then the windows. The back. Can you open half the window? Yeah. Oh, that's cool. This thing is ready to be customized, guys. Just roll these up. 
I'm done. Yeah. And I like that it's got these toggles instead of having just the, you know, the strings hanging that. Yeah. It seems like the strings are never long enough. Yep. Yeah. And then you got your pocket right here. Yep. Open that, uh, open that back window. One of the things that me and Tom noticed is that if you, uh, if you leave your trunk window open in the back, you can have access to the cab. So you put your cooler right there, grab a cold one, maybe charge your phone, run a cord. You got a, what'd you call that, Russell? Carabiner? Uh, yeah. You can hang a light, a lamp or... up there. Yeah. And um, it also comes with a, a rain fly. Yep. And does it come with anything else? I think that's it. We're not putting up the rain fly today because, well, it's not raining. So, right. um, let's get a little walk around the outside of this thing. One of the things that worth noting here is that you see the the blue lip on this little pocket here it goes with the blue pole uh, so these poles here on the awning are adjustable so they're really easy to get on you just put it on oh yeah this is an internal hammock for put your gear. shoes or your gear you know anything fairly lightweight i yeah. would think there you go we're not yeah. gonna set that up luckily it was a nice day outside it's yeah, kind of hot. Too nice. Yeah, I was, <laughs> I, was, pretty, I was pretty worn out. Yeah, I was. I got home last night and I, I told my wife I was like, I am absolutely beat from installing that tent. And I think it, you know, once again, I think it was just it was awkward. We had to get up, climb up and on the truck a lot, and get that thing installed. The sun had a lot to do with it too. Cause <laughs> we were right. It's like the first time in months we've had yeah. sunny days for almost a week. Yeah. And being out there in the sun, it just kind of you know, kind of makes you want to have a nap. Yeah. Um, one of the things that. I didn't even know existed was this uh, bed net. So this is like an envelope style net that stretches. Now I'm gonna tell you right now, once it's on and installed on the tie down cleat, uh -huh. it's really hard to get off because of the way that this is. So it goes up in there and around mm -hmm. and I mean, feel it. And it locks into there really good. Uh -oh. oh yeah. I didn't really have a whole lot to put in there, but this thing, this one is definitely more heavy duty than the ones we see in the cars. Uh, Thicker, stronger, um, an envelope style. So, I was kind of you mentioned this earlier to me. Yep. And I was like, "What is envelope style?" So it is literally you. It, once it's in there, it's not just like a netting for your bed. You can actually put stuff in there. Yeah. Yep. Oh, I see. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So if you got some muddy shoes or something, maybe they're wet and you want to put them in the bed and don't want to lose them, there you go. Throw them in there. Boom, it'll dry off on the way home. And can you put this, it goes up by the cab? Can you put it further down the bed? You can put it wherever you want. Okay, but closer to the cab, if it'll get less I put blown it by, about. Yeah, I put yeah. it by the tailgate. That's where I did it, just so I could get some video of it, and things like that. Um, now, we had somebody, let's see. I think this is silly. You do? I've always thought it was silly until I ordered one in. This thing's heavy. Pick it up and feel how heavy it is. Mm -hmm. Oh, I just about pushed the table over. Yeah. So this is a Bluetooth speaker slash FM radio. I think it's wild that this thing will um, do FM radio, but it will. Um, but Nissan came out with it to mount into the Utilitrack of the Frontier, and I don't have the bracket that actually mounts it into the Utilitrack, but what I do have is I have the mount that Nissan has that is made to mount it on your garage wall when you take it out of your truck so you can jam. Is that what that's for? Yep. Really? Yeah, because you got these giant lag bolts. Oh, uh, okay. So you're going to install these lag bolts in a, um, uh, into your studs and then this whole... I mean, this is basically just a piece of your... Utilitrack that they've made into a, a mountable um, component, which I think is really handy. Interesting. So if you don't want to leave it in your trunk, you want to take it out, you can put it in the garage and jam out that way. This thing is loud. Yeah, uh, he came into my office and he was playing it, and at low volumes, you're like, okay, that sounds good. 
But then he cranked it up, and it really sounded good. It sounds great. Yeah. Yeah, it's the weird thing is that at low volume, it's just like sound coming out. But when, when you get it probably about halfway, there's no meter on here. Um, you get about halfway, and you're, you're jamming. Yeah, it's made by Kicker. Yeah. And uh, like Russell said, Bluetooth, FM, and then also an auxiliary port. Yep. Yep. And you can, uh, it's wireless, obviously. You got a 12 volt DC you can charge it with. Um, sorry, I keep having to get up to get things because we have so much stuff. Um, Did you mention if this was uh, like weatherproof? It is. Uh, I don't know the complete specifications of how weatherproof it is, all the statistics um, about that. But it, yeah, it's got a weather sealed door on the side here with all the connections, which try to open that thing. Oh, it's that's looking it's there. closed good. Yeah, I don't want to. Yeah, it's and it, it's really hard to put back in there, so it seals up very good. And it's got the old school Nissan logo. Yeah. So yes. Nice touch. Um, tailgate lock kit. You guys that are running tonneau covers, get yourself a lock kit for your <laughs> for your tailgate. Um, but you just have this little latch mechanism here, little plunger, wiring harness. You can all this good stuff. Let me get it in the camera. Um, but it basically comes with everything. Even comes with, I was surprised about this. It comes with a bag of zip ties. Yeah. Bag of zip ties and little pads. That way you don't get vibration, you know, where wiring harness is touching the metal, things like that. Um, but, yeah, if you got a tonneau cover. Now, does that lock kit activate with the remote? Does it come with a fob in there, or is it done by the key? Uh, it's. I, I believe it's going to lock when you lock the truck. Okay. So when you unlock the truck, it's unlocked. When you lock the truck, it locks. I think it feeds directly off of that. Yep. Um, okay. So moving on. I think we're down to the drive recorder. Um, we have actually started ordering a lot of our new vehicles with these in them. And this is dual re recorder, so it'll, it'll record forward and backwards. Um, you're going to want to get this little accessory thing if you have it, but um, it's got a G-sensor in it, so if it feels a crash it'll record um and there's a record button i tried to find out some functionality of this thing before i came in here and i was unable to it seems like it's still sort of a mystery to everybody in this building um how it works it's got a little sd card in it already so it will save data um or save video to the sd card but also you have um connectivity with your phone there's an app for this too so you should be able to um see what's going on Oh, so you can check in if your kids want to borrow the car. Presumably, yeah. I'm not. I'm not exactly sure. Like, can you can you set it? Uh, and, and I apologize. I I don't know if you can set it to record. It's one of those things that it's hard to understand what all it will do unless it's in your own vehicle mm -hmm. and you have a chance to try it out, which I haven't. Um, so, like I said, we just started ordering vehicles with these. Uh, we actually keep these in stock. So, if you want to add something like that to your vehicle, I think it'd be kind of cool if you bought a vehicle and it's in there. I like this. It's got a microphone on it. Yep. It says passenger conversations may be recorded. <clears throat> Warning. Nice. That's what you need. Yes. So if you're a Uber or Lyft driver, you need That's that. Good idea. You need that in your life. Um, next up, uh, the door cup paint protection kit. It's just like 3M tape that goes inside the cups of the door handles. Mm -hmm. um, I don't have them in here on the table, but I, I got some shots of them here, I think. Maybe not. I can't remember. <laughs> They're clear, right? <laughs> yeah, there's yeah. clear 3M, which is really nice because my Sentra, it's all scratched up in there. Just from your fingernails touching it, your hands over time, 10 years, 20 years, boom, it's terrible. Um, so I think those are kind of nice. Now, Tom, you have over there, you've been waiting. Yeah. This is your chance. So this is the... Off-road adventure kit. Yep. Um, it has a lot of stuff in here. There is a video that uh, Russell did a while back that was uh, kind of an unboxing mm -hmm. or unpacking video showing you all the contents. Um, I don't know. I, I'm not going to get written out. Uh, maybe we could put a link in for the... Yeah, to, to, I'll stick a link up here. Look in the description. We'll have links for all this stuff in the description. It's going to take me two hours to make links for all this stuff. Yeah, <laughs> and this is completely separate and different from the... Uh, First aid kit or the emergency the medic, medic kit. kit. Yep. Um, but yeah, it's a good heavy duty backpack, packed full of stuff. It's got lots of little, what do they call stuff? Mall or mole or I can't, whatever. Yeah, something like so that. You can clip stuff in there. Yep. But um, yeah, check out the video and, and we'll review that video. Maybe we can do another one that's a bit more current. Yeah. Yeah, it'll be better if we do it now. I think so. <laughs> um, let's see here. Uh, 
the the black exhaust finisher um i I showed that off in the the hard body edition frontier um tom didn't you did you have it in for a video before uh, i got it in uh before yeah once before it was uh and a customer ordered one too yeah it's a nice little touch it's subtle it's one of those things that's you know kind of it cleans up that tailpipe yeah it's nice it's got a really (laughs) nice finish to it yeah um floor mats all-weather floor mats yeah, if you don't have all, I've said it before. If you don't have all-weather floor mats in your truck, what are you even doing? Yeah, it's a. It's a basically, me and Tom were talking about how we're going to start a really hardcore gatekeeping club, um, and you're going to have to have all-weather floor mats to get into it. Yeah, it doesn't matter what you drive. You can have a, you can have a Prius for all we care. Right, and the thing is too, it doesn't <laughs> matter if you live somewhere wet like where we live, or if you live somewhere dry and dusty. Those all-weather mats are going to save you a lot of hassle yeah and they're going to keep your original mats i recommend you take the original mats out and keep them nice and safe somewhere and then put in those all-weather mats yeah if you and if you ever get rid of that car the person who buys it a dealership probably ain't gonna care but if you sell it to somebody they're gonna like the fact that that carpet's in good condition they got some new carpet mats if they need to run those and then they got your rubber ones um but yeah we have mats for all we also have carpet but you know we don't sell many of those though yeah, not around here especially. Um, halogen fog light kit. Uh, I've got those on the floor over there. Um, I was really surprised pulling those lights out. They're they're really well made, really nice. They're heavy. You can kind of feel the quality of them. And you get a, a new uh, uh, multifunction stalk for the column there with all your new switches so your fog lights will work properly. Um, but, yeah. If you if you got a frontier without fog lights, once again, it's kind of like all weather mats. What are you doing? That's a that's a big switch. <laughs> yeah, it's got your fog lights, your headlights, turn signals, high beam, low beam, wipers, the whole kit caboodle. Yeah, and at the at the time that we're doing this video, pricing on this kit is two hundred fifty six dollars retail, and the fact that it comes with that. And two lights for $256 is beyond me. Um, there's no wiring in here, so presumably the wiring that you need for your fog lights is up in the bumper somewhere. Easy. Easy install. I feel like these are glass lenses. <clears throat> That's what I was they're thinking. Cold. Yeah. They're nice. Yeah. Um, exterior graphics. So the hood emblem or the the hood decal you got the standard just kind of black one with the tread on it like mm-hmm. on the hard body edition truck and then you got the nismo which you can see here um but i like the way that looks i wish i could get something like that and yeah stick it on my yeah pathfinder. Um, and then we've got the the bedside graphics which they're the ones that go back on the quarter panel the four by four from the hard body edition. That's the one you guys need. Y'all need that 4x4. Four four. If you yeah, got a super cool. If you got an SV that's four wheel drive, put the decals on it. It'll make it 10 times cooler. Pro 4X boys will be jealous. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then we got the tailgate letters, which I I've seen a lot of companies selling decals that go in the letters, but this is actually a nameplate. It's three dimensional. Yeah. These so are it's sick. I really want to see it on a truck because I guarantee you it's uh it probably looks really cool sitting in those um, recessed letters. Yeah, these are thick. They got a beveled edge on them. They're black. I wonder if they're gloss black or if they're kind of like a matte black. <sighs> yeah, I thought about peeling it back, and no. I didn't really want to. Yeah, um, not. So interior door scuff protection. Uh, I got some shots on a new truck we have here. I didn't have the kit in stock to show you, but basically the door panels. It's got a carbon fiber look panel that goes all along the mm-hmm. bottom of the door panel, and you wouldn't believe how many times I get in a new car, and I first place I go, I open it up, and there's a scuff from my shoe on it. Right. <laughs> So, um, kick plates, I'm not going to get too much into those. Mud flaps, once again, what are you doing if you don't have mud flaps on your truck? Uh, if you're Pro 4X, um, got the Pro 4X logo. You can get them with the 4x4 logo from the hard body, which I really like those. Those are cool. Yeah. Um, you don't see very many trucks with the, you know, coming from the factory with 4x4 on the mud flaps anymore. Um, <clears throat> the owner's manual portfolio deal, we've talked about those several times. Yeah, that's camo, kind of closely matches the off-road adventure kit and the medic kit. Yeah. Um, now, here's one that, um, well, let me let me mention one more. The rear bumper step. Mm-hmm. 
I didn't get one in. We tried to get one before we recorded this video, and it didn't come in. But I think that it's absolutely a necessity on the Frontier. You wouldn't think so. It is. Yeah, that tailgate sits up pretty high. Unless you're Shaquille O'Neal, if you're normal-sized. <laughs> yeah, and also when we were installing that tent uh, yesterday, Rus Russell had mentioned to me that when the tailgate is down, there's only like a little sliver yeah. of the bumper available to step on. And on some models, they're painted. Right. So you step on that once, and it's going to get scratched up. Yeah. So unless you got a pretty good inseam, uh, you're going to want that step. And, you know, five years ago when I first started working here, I had Titan people mm -hmm. want, wanting oh, that yeah. step all the time. This definitely needed on a Titan. Hey, yeah. They're awesome. They're awesome. Um, the seat back organizer. Now, we don't have one. It comes in the same digital camo print as the, the pack that Tom just had. Uh, but we're ready for them. And you guys should get ready for them, too. What other accessories are we waiting on? We're waiting on rock rails from Nismo. Where are you at, Nismo? Mm-hmm. We're waiting on real beadlock wheels from Nismo. Still can't get those? Still can't get them. Right. Come on, guys. Let's go. We're ready. They're on the website. Yeah. Um, step rails, uh, the off-road rails. Once again, the steps come off, full of hoop. You take it off. I think it looks cool without it. Yeah. Um, I, I saw some, it's funny, I was on Reddit the other day and a guy posted a picture of his truck. He took the, the hoops off and it's funny, it, it, the truck looks higher because right. you're, 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 you know, that ground clearance changes your eye and your head a little bit. Um, but the hoops are nice to have if, if you're, you know, if you need it to get in and out. Um, let me see. I think we're, have we mentioned everything? We're almost there. We're getting there. Tow hitch. Uh, yeah, tow hitch. Uh, we won't ship tow hitches, but if you're local, we'll gladly help you out. If you uh, if you need one, your truck didn't come with it, uh, reach out to your local dealer. The tro tow hitch. Troll hitch. Troll hitch. <laughs> your tow hitch, you're going to get uh, seven pin wiring. I got some pictures here. Uh, the harness actually has a four and a seven. It's one, one connector, which is super nice. The nice thing about that tow hitch, too, it's a class three hitch. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah. You guys, I think we have ran out of accessories to talk about, which I, um, this is a pretty long video for us, but, um, but yeah. What well, accessories do you need for your truck? Tell for, for me? What do for I need them. for them? them? I don't know. what do you guys need? I'll tell you what I'd like to have for my Sentra. If any of y'all, and this is what the truck wins, it's the weird audience for this question. Mm -hmm. But if anybody can find a Nismo suspension setup for the B16 because it existed, let me know. I'm trying to get that. <laughs> I bet you can look and see who made it for Nissan and then assemble your own kit. None of that there. No. Yeah. Junk. There's junk for the center. It's okay. all feebate and garbage. Uh, but anyway, thanks for checking out the video. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, let me know or let us know what you think of that tent. Yeah. And out of all these accessories, what did you guys like best? Yeah. I can't get over the fog light price. I, I, I just looked at the price when we came in here. So hopefully it's right on this sheet. Or yeah, because I bet you if you were to order individual pieces of these, it's going to be a way, lot, way a lot more expensive. I've seen those switches be over $500. I know. It's crazy. I mean, maybe times have changed. They raised the price on the old stuff and lowered it on the new. I see where you're going there. All right. Thanks for joining us. Come back on Friday. Friday's live day now. I mean, we're going to have another video too, but Friday's live day. We love it. All right. It works. We will see you guys soon. Bye. Bye.